This is the setup for cellular respiration in germinating peas. Before you begin, please make sure you read all of the safety instructions found in your lab. Also remember to observe all safety precautions, including wearing your goggles, gloves, and your apron. Before you begin, please make sure that you have all of the materials required for the lab. From your materials kit, you will have garden peas, non-absorbent cotton, three glass pipettes, three flat bottom glass vials, two plastic pipettes, potassium hydroxide, four parafilm squares, three rubber stoppers, 200 beads, and 10 cotton balls. From the equipment kit, you will need graduated cylinder, thermometer, and a pair of forceps. For the materials that are required but not supplied, you will need a disposable aluminum baking pan two 9x13s, which I have here, or a single larger roasting pan. You will also need three nickels, a timing instrument, food coloring, a plastic cup for germination, a resealable bag, sandwich size, some paper towels, scissors, and some non-chlorinated water. Please make sure that your water is non-chlorinated, which means it is not from the tap. Bottled water could be used for this experiment. The preparation for the respiration lab must be started two days before you plan on doing the lab. First, place 50 peas into a plastic cup as I have shown here, and then using your non-chlorinated water, that means your bottled water, pour enough water into the cup so that the water is about three times the level of the peas. You want to make sure there's plenty of room for the peas to absorb the water. Allow this to sit overnight. After the peas have sat out all night, you want to place your peas on a wet paper towel that has been moistened with the non-chlorinated water. You want to make sure that all of your peas are in contact with the paper towel so none of the peas are on top of each other. Place the peas on one half of the paper towel as shown here and then fold the paper towel over to make a container for the peas. Then place the wet paper towel containing your peas into a plastic sandwich bag and leave them overnight in a cool, dark place. The next step is the assembly of the respirometer. To do this, take one of your nickels and place it in the bottom of the flat bottomed tube. Then take your piece of parafilm. You see I've already cut it in half, so you have a two inch by one inch section of parafilm. Then you're going to wrap the parafilm around the pipette about an inch and a half from the top of the pipette. Then you're going to take the larger end of the stopper and place it on the pipette, making a seal. Then place the stopper into your glass vial and then you should test it for leakage as described in your lab on page eight.
The next step is setting up the P's and the B's. Add 25 milliliters of your bottled water to the 100 ml graduated cylinder, which I've already done here. Then we're going to drop 25 of your germinating peas into the graduated cylinder. Observe the final volume after you've added the peas and record this value, value in data table 1. After you have removed the germinating peas, refill the graduated cylinder to 25 milliliters, which I've done here, and then add 25 dormant peas to the water. Then you're going to add beads to the graduated cylinder containing the dormant peas so that the final volume is equal to the final volume measured previously for the germinating peas. Adding beads to the graduated cylinder with the smaller dormant seeds ensures that the respirometers contain equivalent volumes at the start of the experiment. Refill your graduated cylinder one more time with 25 milliliters of your non-chlorinated water. Then add the beads so that the volume of your graduated cylinder is the same as that of the germinating peas and the germinating peas with the beads. For all of the next steps in this activity, it is essential that you are wearing the proper safety gear. So you must be wearing your gloves, your goggles, and your apron. Please pause here and go and gather the safety equipment if you have not done so already. Once you are ready to begin, you're going to place an absorbent cotton ball on top of the nickel in each of your flat bottom tubes. Then to each cotton ball you are going to add two milliliters of potassium hydroxide. Please avoid getting any of the potassium hydroxide on the side of the vial or on any part of your person.
Once the potassium hydroxide is added, place a wad of the non-absorbent cotton on top of the cotton containing the, so the potassium hydroxide. Once the non-absorbent cotton is placed, insert the 25 germinating peas into one of the tubes, the dormant peas and the beads into the second tube, and the beads by themselves into the third tube. Once you have filled the three vials with either the germinating peas, the dormant peas and the beads, or the beads alone, insert the stoppers into the vials. Make sure the stopper is tightly in the vials as you don't want the respirometers to leak. Then you're going to lay each of the respirometers very gently over a paper towel. Using your food coloring, you're going to add it to the tip of the pipette by hanging a drop and allowing the drop to just barely touch the tip so that it wicking action pulls the drop into the tip. 